bad morning to you. What is your energy saying right now? What signal is it sending out? Close your eyes and hear it, feel it. What are you silently intending? You're always intending something. You're always assuming something. What are you wordlessly assuming about yourself, about your life, about your future right now? Like Ramana Maharshi said, silence is a conversation. It's one you're having with God constantly, unknowingly, most of the time. John Piper said, when you wake up in the morning, let the first words out of your mouth before your head leaves the pillow be a cry to God, I need you again today. Feel, I need you again today, God, without the words. Feel that surrendering, that giving away of yourself, of your plans. Feel the comfort the ease that replaces the tension you were communicating before, you were vibrating before you hit play. You're being something completely different than what you were being a few moments ago. A few moments ago doesn't exist here. Last week, last month, last year, the last 10 years doesn't exist here. In the silence, your future unfolds from here from this vibration, from this energy, from this intention. But if we're using words, I like the word grace. Grace takes over in the silence. And in that grace, your mantra, a name of God comes to remind you not to take life so seriously. Kabir said, keep on reciting God's name and you'll live pleasantly in the world. With true love as your master, as your teacher, as your guide, your life map will change. Every time you come back here, you change your life, something shifts. Some karma is cleared. When you're here, your purpose is clear. For it is written, you shall be holy. For I am holy, you shall be loved. For I am love. Don't look to men. Look to me. Capital M. And see me in them. Whenever you find yourself in conflict, it's because you forgot me in them. You forgot that it is me appearing as them. Ashley said, every time you remember, forgive again. Every time you remember your past, forgive again. Every time you remember what they did, forgive again. Every time you remember what you did, forgive again. Love again, that's what forgiveness is. A Course in Miracles defines it as recognizing that what you thought they did to you has not occurred. It does not pardon sins and make them real. It sees there was no sin. And in that view, all your sins are forgiven. You forgive yourself for believing there was something there besides God. As Joe Goldsmith would say, God and. There is no God and. And it starts right there. There is no God and you. There's just God where you appear to be. And that vibration, that energy you're practicing, hearing, loving, that's him. Losing yourself in that. That's the path. Baba Ram Singh said, this is the path of love, the path created by God himself. It's not a path created by saints. It's not a path created by man. It's always been the path, and it has existed from the time that the human form first took shape. It is a path through which plane by plane, the soul has descended from God Almighty by the way of the sound current 
and has now come into this current human form. This path has been there for you, latent, uniquely within the human form, at all times. The sound is the word. That was with God. It's the word that is God. Ange Little said God's word endures forever, and it helps me endure in this life as well. It's giving you everything you need. All you have to do is hear it. And it guides your steps. It takes your steps. In Ephesians, it says, For you are formerly darkness, but now you are light. And the Lord walk as children of light. We have to glow. You have to fill your halo. Or you have to feel that that body is a candle and there's a flame burning above its head, or you have to feel the sun in your heart. You have to radiate. Constantly, you have to feel like God is shining on you. Whichever one of those makes you feel the truth of who you are, helps you to stay in step with this vibration, with this light. You hold on to that today and drop everything else. Every time you remember you are forgiven, you plant another seed, you are prospered, you are healed, and you can heal every time you feel God. Feel this love fully like it's the last time you'll feel it. The Desi Royal said, pray every prayer as if it's your last. Chant every round. As if it's your last, give it your all. Give every moment your all. Feel the intensity, the power that's always been right there. You're just now coming into it, growing into it. You're growing into your future. The one you thought you were just imagining, you now know is promised, it is written. Say that to yourself. It's written. No matter what comes, No matter what apparent failure happens on your way to it, it's yours, it's written, it's finished. And from this vibration, from this posture, sitting up taller, shoulders down and back, stomach soft, breathing soft, soft smile, you watch. I'm watching too. I love you, and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift and follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.